Well, dance connects Indigenous communities to culture and country. And for many First Nations people, it's a powerful source of inspiration. In some remote regions, traditional song and dance is also being credited with helping to curb youth crime by motivating at-risk teens to become local leaders. SBS reporter Omar Dabaj travelled to the Queensland town of Warrabinda, west of Gladstone, where residents are noticing a positive change. On Gungaloo and Wadja land behind a community centre in central Queensland, the Kalgoorlie dancers pay tribute to their ancestors through traditional dance. <laughs> the four young men at today's rehearsal, part of an ensemble of 40 dancers with connections to 52 tribes. It's good to you know, pass on what the ancestors passed us you know, and to us, and it's good to um, pass it on to the young generation. And sharing those family stories is the favourite part of dancing for some. Performing. Yeah, and dancing. From yeah. From people we don't know. Showing our culture to our people. Frederick Henry has been a dancer since he was eight years old. Now 26 and a primary school teacher, he says performing with Kalgoorlie helped him mature and shifted his priorities to helping at risk kids. I love teaching and. It's been part of my life, culture, and culture has always been there for me to stop what I've been doing in, all, in the past and all that. Uh, getting children out of trouble and all that, stopping them from breaking into and that. The dance troupe has been a staple in the small indigenous community of Warabinda for more than 20 years. The population here numbers less than 1,000 people and, like many other remote towns, grapples with youth crime. Kruger Adams says his father started Kalgada to stop kids from sniffing petrol. He now runs the group with his partner, Nikki Cameron. I help people was around at the time. There was, the respect was real strong at the time. And as elders started to um, pass away, and that, and that sort of respect level started dropping away. <laughs> But Kalgada's successes are helping turn things around. In 2017, the group performed at the Sydney Opera House, winning the prestigious National Dance Rights Competition, which led to an invitation to dance on the Gold Coast for the Commonwealth Games. Bringing back uh, respect for our community and teaching the, the young, young kids how to respect others and respect themselves. This story isn't unique to Warabinda. Music and dance are integral parts of Indigenous culture deeply rooted in identity. And in communities across the country, dance is being utilised by younger generations to understand who they are and decide where they want to be when they're older. You forget who you are sometimes, but when you're doing cultural stuff, it brings back that knowledge from what area you from. Most of them now start, start new stand up, talking and taking over. I'm, I'm pretty proud of them too, you know, and this keeps me going with them. There are many ways to motivate. This is just one of them. In Warabinda, Queensland, Omar Dabaj, SBS World News.